Happy Monday, team! Hello, hello, welcome everybody. I'm Amy here with Bowflex, and today we are doing a full body dumbbell workout using a bench. Don't worry if you don't have a bench, that is okay. I'm gonna give you lots of different options. If you don't have dumbbells, you can just move your body and keep it body weight or use whatever you've got. Say hi if you are here. Hey, Lori is here. Hope you and everyone had a great weekend. I did, I hope you did as well. Good morning to Sharon. Drone Dogs is here. Welcome, welcome. So good to see all of you here today. We're gonna get it done for a lot of us here in the US. It is a holiday, so maybe you got a little extra time today. I'm so glad that you decided to spend it with me. So make sure that you have some space if you have a bench. And if you don't have a bench, if you have a sturdy chair or the couch, just make sure it's something sturdy because we will be doing some things like putting our foot on it or uh, being on it uh, a little bit unstable. So make sure that it is something sturdy that you feel comfortable with. But otherwise, I'm gonna give you options to keep everything grounded on the floor as well. All right, I'll be using my Bowflex Select Tech adjustable uh, dumbbell today. Kettlebell was last week, 552, so I can go up between 5 and 52 pounds. You use what you've got. Let's go ahead and start moving. So just start marching, rolling those shoulders. Let's try to release any tension you may be feeling for the week, for the month. I'm going to get both my timers started here, and we are going to get it done i'm feeling pretty tight today i don't know about you Whew. and let's take them to the front so we are gonna get warm here <clears throat> and then we will jump right in with some circuits with our kettlebell or why do i keep saying that i think i'm thinking kettlebell because that's what we did last week if you're looking for that one it's still up on the channel remember that everything that we do here on the Bowflex YouTube channel, our live workouts also stay up on the channel so you can do them at any time. Let's just do a little reach. Reach, one arm down, one arm behind. Stretch and stretch. Shift your weight side to side. Ooh, that feels good. All right, let's take it up with our arms for a big I. Woo, shoulders Y. And then take it out to a T. So you can keep it just like that straight up for your I out for your Y, straight out for your T. If you want to add a little hinge with it, you can. I, little hinge, Y, big stretch, shoulder mobility, T. Let's do one more just like that. I, stretching the shoulders, opening up your back. And then let's roll through a flat back, round it up. Yes, flat back, and round it up. One more right through here, and let's hold underneath those legs. Rolling your shoulders. Yes, you can. All right, if you're able, take those hands all the way down to the ground, walk those feet in. We're gonna take it up, extend through the legs, then sit low in a squat. If you need to, you can also put your hands on the bench, right? So up, little hinge, and then open up the knees in the squat. Up, stretch, and down, one more. From here, walk it back to that high plank. If that is not right for you, take it on to your knees. We're just gonna press up in that down dog and just pedal those feet. And then slowly come back forward into the plank to get that core working. So lift through those hips, pedal those feet. Slowly back down, get the core working. Let's just do two more at your own pace. The down dog is not right for you. You can take it to a child's pose. I'm gonna remind you a lot that this is your workout, so I want you to do what works best for you. And take it down right here. One big step forward. You can drop the knee if you need to. World's greatest stretch, so reaching it up. If you wanna stay on the knee, otherwise you can press up. Little rotation through the spine lift and lower and up good let's go ahead and switch our legs so you can step back to that plank here drop the knee if you need to if you want to reach it up little twist through the spine and step it forward slowly 
Roll it up. All right, right through here, a little low impact jack to finish off that warm up, getting a little cardio. All right, so we're working with the bench today. I'm gonna be moving it forward and back. What I love about my Bowflex incline bench is that I am able to move it. It's on wheels, but again, don't stress about it. I'm gonna give you everything that we do has an option to keep it on the floor as well. So we're gonna reach it down. Yes. Right through here. All right, team, so shake everything out. I'm gonna move my bench in just a bit, but I'm gonna keep it angled. So we're gonna start with a sit squat right through here. So I'm gonna get one dumbbell. I'm gonna hold it right here. My goal is to sit with one leg and then drive it up. If that doesn't feel good for you, you just take a regular squat. If you need to on the ground, you keep the toe here, you sit low. But if you have the option to use the bench and actually shift your weight, then we're gonna do it. So right leg on the floor, left toe is on the ground, or you can have that foot all the way up. Again, whatever option works best for you, if you're sitting on a bench or something else, or on the ground, maybe on the ground you probably want that toe down. Core engaged, chest open, we're gonna sit low, here we go. Drop it down and drive it up. So feel what happens as you shift your weight. If you're able to sit on the bench or whatever you have available to you, when you shift the weight, you really have to recruit those glutes and hamstrings. Try not to do what I just did where I plop down, right? You really wanna control it the entire way. Go in 45 seconds, drive up and through. And it may be easier to have a little balance with that toe coming down, and then you can drive up from just the leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get up for that same thing other side. Now, this is where we find out what has a little more strength and stability, and that is okay, that's totally normal. So we're going left foot, right toe. Again, if you're on the ground, just stagger it here, just like that, or sitting right here. Here we go. Sharon has a Spira Flex, it's the complete set, I love it. Whew. Drive up and through. Again, trying to keep that leg up if you can. Now we're warm, right? Feeling it? All the way. I can tell this left one for me needs a little extra balance. So I'm gonna keep that toe down on the way down and then drive up with that leg up. You do you if you start to feel like you're rounding in the back or pulling too far forward. I want you to keep it low. And breathe. Three, two, one and relax yes team all right so now we're going to keep it with one side i'm going to go a little heavier because we're going to take it to a bent over row so let's start with a knee on the bench right remember we did this whew, we did this with our kettlebell so instead of having that foot to the back right here and leaning into it we want it actually out a little more to the side so we can keep that flat back Use the bench to get super low. If you don't have a bench, just stagger it. We're just doing the row from here. We're gonna go 45 seconds each side. Let's get it done. Core engaged, hinge, three, two, one. Bring it up, elbow up, let it drop. Squeeze, let it drop. So that hand is right underneath the elbow and the shoulder, not out here, right? You want it to be here. Core is engaged, squeeze in, and out, making sure just like we do when we're standing, so if you're standing or on the bench, that you're not rounding in the back, right? You're here, pull it up and in. And up, squeeze, yes you can. I'm gonna slide this a little more in frame. Woo, getting my bench. We got five seconds, three, two, one, and relax, turn yourself around. Wherever you are, we're gonna do the same thing other side. So again, nice flat back, wrap that core, foot out to the side nice and wide, little hinge, pull it up, squeeze in the shoulder blade, let it drop. In three, two, one, here we go. Bring it up and drop. 
Notice how sometimes on the bench we get more support through here, keeping those hips square so we can keep that hinge a little bit better. Sometimes having just having the hand here makes a difference. So if that's you and you're on the floor, another option is just to put a hand on a bench or hand on the wall or hand on a chair, whatever you have available to you. If that gives you a little more stability to keep that good form, by all means, go for it. And breathe. Up. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. And relax. Rack that up. Woo, right? All right, team, so now we're getting a little bit of core. I'm gonna angle it even more so you can see we're gonna do a plank on the bench. So I want my elbows on. I'm gonna split the difference here. And we're just holding. Of course, if you don't have the bench, we're gonna take it to the ground. So join me, either elbows on the bench, elbows on the ground. Here we go. We're gonna start with this, and then we're gonna add a little movement. So get that good plank form. Make sure those shoulders are not internally rotating. And then if you want, Let's bring the knees in. Now, if you're on the ground, you're gonna have to do a little pike. We can do the same from here, a little lift of the hips, right? Bring it up, I'm gonna angle it here so you can see. Lift and down. Up and in, 15 seconds. Breathe, lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Quick sip of water. We're gonna do it all again, but we are adding a little extra right through here. All right, team, so this time, grab that one dumbbell again. We're gonna go to our sit squat or our one-legged squat. If you have the option, if it feels okay for you, as you come up, we're gonna do a shoulder press, elbows in. We're still gonna keep it one dumbbell, but, if that's not right for you, you just keep the squat. You can also just take it body weight. You can also be on the ground, staggered squat. Let's get it done. Right leg down, left leg either on the toe or knee up. We're gonna add a press at the top if you can. Here we go. Down and press. Down and up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to keep that knee up and then put the toe down when I add the press. This round is only 30 seconds, so get excited. Everything is a little intensified, so we'll keep shorter rounds. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Gonna do the same thing, other side. Keeping those elbows in. If that one dumbbell is too late, take it with two. You can totally keep two racked at your shoulders and then pressing up. So left leg on the ground, right toe or right knee up. Here we go. Down and press. If you can keep that knee up the entire time, you're really gonna get that core working for balance. But for me, I need to put it down at the top. When I get to that press, really shift your weight into the bench, drive up through the heel. Even if you don't have a bench, make sure you're coming up. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Burn, right? Little extra, little extra heart rate, little extra shoulders. All right, team, so angling this way, we're going to combine our plank and our row. Here's what we got. I'm gonna have 30 seconds where I put my left elbow on and my right arm is doing the row. Then we'll get a little stretch, love this stretch from here, and then we'll go right side. If you don't have the bench, it's just your regular plank row, but we'll go 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. So either one to start with, I'm gonna start with right elbow on, lift up into that plank. Make sure you shift those hips forward that you're not back here, right? That you still want that good plank form. Here we go, 30 seconds, bring it up. Yes, it's challenging. If the elbow feels like too much, you can go from here. But you can feel the difference, right? What makes it hard is that you're having to pull from the ground. So you probably want to stay on that elbow. Bring it up right here. Whoo! 
This side is hard for me today. Squeeze, use that core. Use your back. Three, two, one. Sit back, child's pose. So if you got the bench, elbows on here. This is such a great stretch, right? Press the shoulders down. And even shift your hips side to side. Ha. Let's do same thing other side. Elbow up, left one on. Here we go. Bring it up. So trying to keep your hips and your shoulders square, right? What we're not doing is twisting. So everything's in right here. Squeeze and down. Right through here. Like how we're switching gears in that round to adding that intensity. Putting some things together. You're gonna keep going. Three, two, one. Stretch it back. One more time. Yes, team. All right, quick sip of water if you need it. I'm gonna angle a little bit more as we go. Grab a sip. All right, team. So we're gonna take it to remember that Bulgarian split squat or foot elevated split squat. We did it. <clears throat> with the dumbbells or we did it with the kettlebell last week if you were here we're going to take it again to here if you can place that bench somewhere where you have the wall if you need it if you want to take two dumbbells which we're going to do on round two take them there if you don't have the bench we're just going to go with a regular split squat or a lunge right but if this is new to you and you're worried about balance make sure you have somewhere that you could grab onto the wall back of a chair or something like that so we'll start with one dumbbell to have that option, then we'll take it to two. So I've got the dumbbell in my right hand, my left foot is forward, my right leg is up. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna take it down, I'm gonna drive it up. So you are gonna hinge forward a little bit, but keep those shoulders pulled back. Join me right here, here we go. So take it down and bring it up. If you have two dumbbells, you can keep them a little more to the front or right out to the side. Now this back foot, you can be up on that toe as you come down, you might want to flatten it out a little bit. It's more of a personal preference. That front leg is doing the work. Burn, right? Down and up again. Use the balance if you need it. And up right through here. Yes. If you're on the ground, just really take it slow in that split squat or lunge. Ah. We got three, two, one. Switch your sides. I started with the harder one on purpose. So again, other foot forward. You're actually closer than you think. You don't wanna be so far out that you're here, right? But not so far in that you feel like you don't have space. So find where you need to be. Other foot on top. Again, remember, on the ground, regular split squat. On the bench, you're here if you need some balance. Grab some balance. Let's get it done, other leg. 45, here we go. Drop it down, drive it up, yes. And up. Burn. All the way through, yes. Low to high. So again, notice it's not, it's not a deadlift. And it's not a straight up lunge. You can actually hinge forward just a bit, kind of split the difference, right? We got 15 seconds. Up and in. Take it here. Drive it up. Yes, team. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. We're gonna take it down on our back. I'm gonna move my bench even more angled. Ooh, this mat. Bench rolls really well, but then my mat gets in the way, but look how lightweight this is. This is what I love about it. All right, we're taking it to a bench press. If you don't have whew, a bench, you're just flat on the ground, totally fine. These are the same, these are the same. All right, so sitting on the edge of your bench, a great way to get it down if you have heavy ones is to use those legs to bring them up. Slowly come all the way down. I like to put my feet up on the bench because I'm a little bit shorter, but if you have the space to put your feet on the ground, that's okay too. We're gonna start at the top, we're gonna bring them down, hug the bench with those elbows, 
or into the mat. Press up and in, regular press. Let's get it done in three, two, one. So your regular press, right? So we're getting a lot of chest, a lot of shoulders. Core is working as well. What is your core doing? Really tilt the pelvis, pull everything in. The nice thing about the bench is that we can do what I just said, hug the bench. As you bring those elbows in, remember they're in just a bit, squeeze in with those lats with your back and then press up strong. Really adds an extra layer of upper body when you're able to do that. You can do that on the mat as well. You just don't have as much range of motion and that's okay. Up and in, <clears throat> excuse me, keep it going. 10 seconds, even less, five, four, three, two, one. Whatever you need to do to rest those weights down, open up your chest. Ah, this is the other thing I love about the bench, getting this stretch, right? All right, team, so now we're gonna take it to a bicycle, but we're gonna keep it lower body. Hands are either here or underneath, and we're just gonna go here to here. So let's get it done. Grab on the back or have your hands underneath here in three, two, one. Just your lower body bicycle. If that is not right for you, you need to modify, take it to a bridge, or just do some little marches. That works too. And here. Yes, you can. All the way through. Again, I like having the hands back here. It's a different place to whoo, breathe, have that stability, but also it gives you a little upper body stretch, right? Yes. Woo, feel that core. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, team. So <clears throat> grab a sip of water. Back to the top. This time we got 30 seconds only. And of course, we are adding on. So watch me first, 30 seconds with that elevated split squat. We're gonna do a curl at the top. If you don't feel good about that balance, have something you can hold on to, do one side, or just keep it on the mat, all right? <clears throat> I am going to switch on my weights. Take them back to 12 from 15. All right, team, so whatever weights you need to be on, <clears throat> Let's take it down. So one foot on top, one foot forward. We're gonna curl at the top. If that feels good for you, I'm gonna turn them in. We're gonna take it nice and slow because we need all that balance. If you wanna take it to one side, so you have another hand for balance, that's okay too. Let's do it. Drop it low, curl at the top. So you really do have to take it slow and controlled. Feel how that back leg is really getting that good hip flexor stretch. And then that front leg has the control. So chest open and proud. Curl at the top. Don't rush it. Don't try to curl too soon. We're going to keep that good balance. You got three, two, one. Breathe. Challenging, right? Again, you're totally welcome to just keep it <clears throat> on the ground if that's better for you. I'm gonna go hammer curl this time. Other leg, I started with my good leg this time. Woo! There's that heart rate, even though it was only 30 seconds, right? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Drop it down, split squat, and curl. Foot elevated, and curl. If you don't feel steady, take it to one dumbbell or just take that foot on the ground. Easy switch, right? Take it here. Ha. Yes, you can. And burn. You got five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Woo. Right, team? All right, let's take it down. Guess what? Just like our chest press that we did before, or no, just like we combined the row and the plank, now we're gonna combine the chest press and the bicycle. So, down onto your back again, grab those weights. 
Again, sitting on the edge of your bench, I have to slide forward a little bit. Use your knees to bring them up, Ooh, slowly down, right through here. Now again, if the balance feels like too much, just do a little march or we can separate them out. Otherwise, if you can, we're here. It's really gonna play with your balance, but you can do it. Three, two, one. So bicycle, lower it down, press it up and in. Slow and controlled, it's only 30 seconds. Getting close to the end of this workout. Look at that time, right? Take it here, hand up, ha. All the way through. Yes, team, ha. Three, two, one. Woo. Set him down. Get that stretch. Open it up nice and wide. Yes, team. All right. Woo. Quick little bonus round. And then we are going to stretch it out. Using your bench, I want you to take it with one dumbbell. We're gonna go single leg deadlift. I want you to have the bench for balance. We're just getting 30 seconds each side to finish off that lower body. Then we got one more upper body and core. So zip up the core. You got the hand for balance. Here we go. Down, drive it up. So true hinge, right? Our one-legged or our elevated split squat was more of a lunge pattern. This is more of our hinge. I want you to actually use the bench, especially if you're someone who doesn't usually do a one leg because of balance, use the bench right there, not leaning into it, but just keeping it. There we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Little stretch right here. Let's do same thing, other side, right? So other leg, I've got my inside leg coming up. I got my hand here, zip up that core. Here we go, down and up. Maybe you're someone who's totally fine with balance. That's okay too, soft bend in both knees. Shoulders back and up, core engaged right through here. A little soft bend, yes you can. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Yes, little stretch right through here. Keep that one dumbbell. Here's what we got, team. We are gonna take it whoo, to a pullover. What I love about this move is it really will get you that stretch to that core and the core working. So watch me here, two hands on one dumbbell. Barbie arms, right? So elbows here and then pull it up. Because you have the bench, if you have the bench, I want you to try to get a little bit lower to work that shoulder mobility, but do as best for you. And if you're feeling fancy with it, you can do a little tap down, bring everything in. Last 30 seconds before we stretch, start with the pullover, then we'll add that tap. Here we go. Taking it over, let it get that stretch. Pull it in. If you want, little toe tap. Core is working the entire time, but we're also getting upper back and shoulders. Breathe. Yes, team. And here, whoo, burn. Yes, you can. A little lift of the hips if you want some extra core. All the way through. Ha. We got five. Four, three, two, one. Oh, burn, right? Woo. Breathe, team. Shake it out right here. Yes, you can. Yes, you did. Little stretch through here. So let's just hang out on the bench, sit on the edge. If you're on the ground or standing, just press out gently through here. Bench really gives us a lot of different ways to stretch as well. If you can, let's cross one leg over. Sit forward. So this is a great option if pigeon or 90-90, whatever it is down on the floor is not right for you. Sit in a chair, sit on the bench 
and lean into this. This is also a great stretch you should do throughout your workday. If you're someone who sits at a desk a lot, which is a lot of us, or sits in the car, take it in here. From here, keep this leg here. I want you to look over your shoulder if that's good for you. Little spinal twist. Here's another one you could do at your desk. And then let's switch right here. Woo! Drone dogs, what did you do today? Oh, just some Bulgarian split squats with a bicep curl, right? So hardcore, you are doing it. Again, even if you didn't have a bench, even if you did things a little bit differently, you showed up. That's all that matters. I am so proud of you and so grateful that you showed up to move with me today on a holiday for a lot of us. Whew. Maybe you're like me and it doesn't feel like a holiday because your kids are home from school, right? <laughs> Other side, lean into it here. Hopefully it's still a good day for everybody. All right, team, if you got that bench real quick, if you want to sit on the edge, otherwise just child's pose. First, start with those arms straight. Sit back into those hips. Lean into it here. Woo, right? And then bring those elbows on. Sit a little closer and shift back. Feel the difference there when you're on the elbows. You can even bring those arms back. Here's a stretch we all need. Make sure you check out all of the other information here on the Bowflex YouTube channel. Remember, we have tons and tons, hundreds of workouts for you, ranging from five minutes to 30 to 45 minutes. Everything that we do live, I'm here live on Mondays. Bria is here Tuesday, Thursday. It stays up on the channel. So, so many options for you. And of course, if you're looking to get information on any of our products, our bench, our adjustable dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, cardio equipment, you can probably find it here. So check it out and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you next time.